Okay guys, so let's see how we can generate almost all of math by the using the concept of the empty set. So we're going to use empty set and the concept of set to create natural numbers. We're going to indicate, let's say, uh, the empty set to be, and that is going to be in the case if we want to count uh, zero to be as a natural number. And then what you're going to have, and then I'm going to take the set of the empty set. And this, that is going to be one. And then to create two, what do you have? I have two elements so far, the empty set and the set that contains the empty set. So I'm going to create a new element, which is going to be the set of the empty set and the set of empty set. And then you can see that this set over here is going to contain like kind of two elements. So that's why that is going to correspond to two. And doing this procedure, what we can do, we can create like any possible natural number by just taking into account all the previous elements that we created and that is going to be uh, the natural number n. And then like as soon as we create a natural number we can build, we can will think about them as a point in a real line. But the thing is we don't have the concept of the real line yet but we're going to create the concept soon. Uh, what we're going to do we're going to indicate that this is my zero, this is one, this is two and etc. and this is n. And then from uh, natural numbers, we're going to move to integers. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take, let's say, uh, the natural numbers except zero and just reflect across uh, zero. So what we're going to and change the sign of each of the numbers. So what I'm going to obtain, I'm going to obtain negative one, negative two, and etc. So right now, what do we have here? We have integers. Then from integers, what we're going to do, we're going to use the concept of uh, rational numbers. And for the rational numbers, what you're going to do, we're going to just, uh, by definition of the rational numbers, we're going to take some natural number uh, m, and then we're going to take, uh, and let's take m without zero actually, and let's take the natural number n, and then we're going to create the fraction n over m. And actually, I do need to take not natural numbers. Uh, one of these needs to be the integer. So in integer, I'm going to take here. So you can see how we use the integers, uh, the integers and natural numbers uh, to make actual the rational number. And one of the examples of the rational number, if I'm going to take, for example, um, n is equal to 1, m is equal to 2, and then I'm going to make the fraction one half. And one half is going to be exactly here on that picture. So right now you can visualize that by taking like uh, all possible combinations uh, of M and N here, I'm going to kind of to fill in uh, the real axis with this like uh, orange dots. And this orange dots are exactly are going to be the rational numbers. And then finally, like uh, moving from the rational numbers uh, to real numbers, we're going to create the most important like object undergraduate math or like lower division math, which is like a real line. And how are we going to do that exactly? Uh, we will define the real line as by taking the completion, taking the completion of the integers. And the, one of the way how we can think about this, that this real line is going to contain some sort of holes. And how that was first discovered, if you're going to take and this triangle, actual right triangle, where each side is going to be equal to 1, then you can see that the length of the hypotenuse is going to be equal to square root of 2. And that follows from Pythagorean theorem that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. But then uh, that should be some sort of number that we obtained. We have like go more precise and explain like why that number and why that number should lies kind of on this axis. But the point is we're going to obtain this number square root of two. And then there's a stri uh, standard like procedure to show that square root of two is not going to be a rational number. So basically we create some number which is like 1.4142 and etc which is going to be somewhere here. And that uh, hole is going to be filled in by using some sort of pre uh, procedure which is called completion. So after doing the completion, we will finally create the real line, which is the first important object in mathematics. And starting from real line, we can uh, start and discover like all other mathematical uh, subjects. 
and if you like this video uh, please like and uh, like comment down below if you want to see continuation of this kind of discussion how to make how to create the entire map using the empty set but let's stop just by creating the rule line and uh, yeah and that's it so have a nice day